Well, hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Derp Your Hooves. And today we're just going to be doing a short answer to a question video. Recently read, how do you get rid of those tanks on the outside of the body of the plane? So the Viper tanks, um, I guess that's what makes the F-16 a Viper, at least from what I've read. Um, the Israeli version of this um, does have the tanks, and I believe they come off as well. Um, right now we are using the F-16C, and this is how it's set up by default when you configure the plane. When you start it and you don't configure it, sorry, <laughs> when you start it and you don't configure it, it gives you 50% fuel, it gives you all the drop tanks, and it gives you the external fuel tanks and no armaments. So we're going to go over how to remove the tanks um, and actually how to add the static armaments because you can't fire the missiles but you sure can put them on there and they add weight to the plane when they look pretty. So anyways, you know, make it look more like a fighter jet than just, you know, I mean, your average military jet that might only have a sidewinder on it. Anyhow, so... Here you go, you got all your tanks on there, you got your tanks on the wing, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click my mouse to go ahead and bring up this menu, and you can do this in the map mode before you begin your flight, or if you're parked on the tarmac or even on the runway, you can do it there, and you click on the fuel icon up here on this upper menu bar. Um, you can do it in the cockpit as well. And it tells you right here, display fuel as, and it has all your fuel tanks right there. Let's just kind of move it out of the way to the nose. And so this is the SC Designs F-16 Fighting Falcon. And you see I have, you know, left main, right main, left aux, auxiliary, right auxiliary, left tip, right tip. Now, I could bring them all the way up. You know, I mean, I can adjust my fuel. I can, you know, totally max it out. I can put it back at you know, 50% where it is when it loads normally. doesn't really matter what level of fuel you have, except for when it comes to the tanks. So we have external two. External two is those tanks underneath the wings. So if you see I slide it down to zero, or I enter in zero there, those tanks go away. External one is going to be belly tank. So you would say, well, what about the other ones? Well, so I found out through time, it's center two center two takes away the viper tanks so now the viper tanks are gone so if you want them on there you just put center two to any value besides zero and there they are and if you want them gone to be like more like a traditional or normal f-16 you just set center two to zero and you lose the uh, fuel capacity because that's why the tanks are there, to make the F-16 a longer range fighter. And I believe you can do it to the Israeli version as well. Um, I know there's three versions of this fighter. You can do it to the C, you can do it to the two-passenger. That's not the um, Israeli and the other foreign version. I think it's like um, the two liveries are like Israeli and like the, the um, I don't know, the Arab Emirates or something. Anyways, so... Um, that's how you get rid of those tanks right there, center two. But let's say, for example, you know, you want to like, you don't want to just have the regular old, you know, flying a training sortie or just doing a basic patrol of like, you know, one of the POTUS bases, you know, where there's really not a threat. You're like, you know, hey, I'd like to, you know, you know, equip it with something. Well, there are no sliders for the armaments. And, you know, I mean, this pilot's 175 pounds, so I guess he's not on the fat boy program for the Air Force, right? He's probably a, at his target weight or less. So, you know, you say, well, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what my weapons are. Well, you know, you have the AIM-9 and the AIM-120, and you just enter the weight in. So if I want AIM-9, I put in 190, and I click over there, and there's a name 9. And if I say I wanted a name 120 on the other wing, that's 350 pounds. 
So I'm going to put in 350, and then it's going to put, you just saw it popped up over there. There's the 350, there's the, uh, the AIM-120, and you can put whatever you want. You can match them up, you can pair them up. Um, let's say you want the, um, the air-to-ground missile 88, so that's 375. And not 3,750. So you're going to notice that too. If you put the wrong number in, it's not going to show up. And so where are the AGM 88s? So they're right there. Right? You can't see it. There it is. So I can set it up like that. And let's say I want a pair of them. So I want two of them. So I want uh, 350 minus a zero. So now I should have a pair of them. Right? Wrong? Wrong. So what it did was, that position there, the last one I just did, right there, is actually going to put it right there on the wing pylon. So you can double them up, and you can just make it zero. NAN is just a feature to let you know that it's zero. And there it is. And so what I want to do is I want to put it... Say got 375. Oh, because I put in 350. That's why. It has to be 375 pounds. And then it's going to show up on that pylon. Right? Right. But let's say, for example, yeah. Let's say I do want the belly tank. And I want the wing tanks. So now I got that. So pretty much what I'm looking at here is a fully loaded bird um, for the most part all ready for air and air to ground combat you know nice little f-16 fighting falcon um, without our our uh, top tanks whatever they're called viper tanks uh, fuselage tanks um, and it just has the good old traditional drop tanks that you can inject you know if it you know had that feature in this simulation and, I mean, there you go. That's pretty much how you would set it up if you wanted to put all the external eye candy on it. And again, you know, in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, it's just going to be eye candy. Uh, the fuel tanks do have a purpose. They serve their purpose to give you a longer range. Um, but the missiles themselves, they're just eye candy. You can't fire the guns. And you can't launch missiles. Maybe, you know, we'll get a, another Microsoft Combat Flight Simulator where we can use these aircraft. You know, um, that way we wouldn't have to use DCS anymore. Um, and, you know, we'll see. Maybe someone will do that. Maybe they won't. But anyhow, this was just a basic tutorial here on how to get you to be able to configure the aircraft so it's more pleasing to you. And I hope this has been a help for you. Thanks for watching Derp Your Hooves, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the sky.